In our last video, you might remember me talking about people who have relationships with dolls. Some even have sex with said dolls. But it goes deeper than that. There are individuals who exist who have a sexual fetish for objects or objectum sexuality. Then there are people who have sexual fetishes for other things that are not necessarily objects but they're not people and they're not animals either. Also, using objects that are created for sexual pleasure are not considered or listed in this video as they are not deviant behaviors at all. So no sex toys or anything of that nature. The individuals who will be discussed in this, in this video may seem bizarre to many, and I'm not saying that they are, and I'm not saying that they aren't. I'm at the bridge, and I'm discussing five people who have sex with unexpected things. As we all know, cars are usually used for transportation, and in the context of this list, they can be used as places to have sex with people. Some people are car fanatics and take great care of their cars, but one man finds cars to be something more than just modes of transportation. Having over 700 sexual encounters with cars, his first car that he fell in love with being a Volkswagen Beetle. So you know how you walk down the street and you always see that good looker at this certain place and you just have this urge to talk to them or do some other things? Well, Edward Smith had an urge alright. He had a, definitely had a surge of sexual energies when he was tempted one night to step outside to make love to a neighbor's car as a young teen in 1965. Edward, 63 or maybe he's 64 by the time of this video, is a mechaphile. His first night with the Volkswagen was a memorable night as he gently caressed the car. And how may you ask that one makes sweet, sweet love to a car? Well, it's not quite what you may be thinking. He doesn't swing to your back and give it the old unzip real quick. To him, it's not about penetration. It's about the body. Hugging and holding the shape of the car and talking to it. Just a little bit and the rest is sensual. Passionate, long-winded masturbation. Ah, trees. They give us air. We give them the carbon dioxide and we chop them down. Furniture, paper, and love. Yes, love. That's right, folks. Love. Anna McCabe, macabre, or whatever, a 31-year-old woman, wants to marry a tree she calls Tim. She says that it's the best sex she's ever had. Anna McCabe reportedly met Tim on a dating site called BranchMatch.com. When they first met, it was love at first sight. Tim even knocked the wind out of her. <laughs> I'm just joking. She was just sick of getting her heart broken, so she decided to give Tim a very lucky tree a try. I guess she's getting all the needs emotionally and sexually. She gets off by rubbing against his bark naked. She loves the feeling of skin on bark contact. He just gets her going. She's never connected with anyone like Tim and would like to get married with him. That reception would be a weird one and she would never cheat on Tim. The same old adage, you can look but don't touch. And she talks to the tree too. Damn it. Even I don't have any friends. Veterans, heroes, fulfill our duty to hold up and protect the sacred values of our countries in which we reside in. Resilient and disciplined, except when not, they are the wall that separates us from the baddies. And some, after their service, return to normal life. Many dealing with the mental scars they have, and even some with the physical ailments, reaping the benefits of their noble duty. Fancy, idle banter, really means nothing in the context of this story. Except that this guy was a veteran, and you know this is going to be effing weird. <laughs> Chris Sevier must have taken a cue from the movie Her, in which a man falls in love with his operating system in a futuristic society, because he wants to marry his laptop. It's his preferred sexual object, Chris says, and he prefers sex with his porn-filled laptop over real women. And in case you were wondering, this is the same guy who tried to sue Apple for enabling him access to porn. He has an addiction. 
This addiction caused his marriage to crumble, and well, they divorced, I presume. However, he won't be marrying his laptop anytime soon, because while he'd be surprised to hear that he actually filed for it, he was denied. Wow, that is so shocking, right? He thinks that because gays can marry the same sex, then he should be able to marry his laptop, which makes no sense. My only question is, how does he have sex with his laptop? Did it involve him sitting by his lonesome crying to himself? Or not? It probably just stroke his throbbing joystick. That's not really anything different than what people already do though. Have you ever seen a couch and thought, Dang, I wanna do things with a couch. Did you ever see a couch on the street and think, Yeah, maybe putting my penis there is a good idea. And meet your new best friend, Gerard Streeter, on the night of September 3rd of 2012, an off-duty police officer was jogging through a neighborhood in Wisconsin. I like to think he was looking for couches too. When he saw a man who he thought was having sex on a yellow couch on a street curb. But as the officer got closer, he saw the grisly truth. Gerard Street tour, thrusting the couch with his <coughs> appendage between the cushions. So make sure you lock your doors. Who knows how many couches have been victims to this man's skill. Couch whisper. All the people on this list have been so weird mofos. All having their weird little attractions, but seemingly normal. It just goes to show that these people were to odd and bizarre attractions that make you wonder if maybe they were dropped in their head or something into child. Some people are never as they seem, and they show subtle signs. The signs in your street are marked with symbols to direct you based on road turns and potential weather conditions, as well as hazards and speed limits. Though there is helpful markers, warnings if I may. And then, we have this guy. A man from South Dakota, and usually we might think that South Dakota is the best Dakota, if the residents were to be believed. But this man... Just... Okay, he has sex with signs. Peter Dills must love Daily Grind, or Nightly in this case. In 2007, he was arrested after being chased out of a neighbor's yard with his video camera. Get this, he was recording sex acts with these signs for an astounding two years. He's like some kind of lady of the night. Except he's a guy. And he was grinding signs. He was arrested for indecent exposure, unlawful occupancy, and burglary. Damn, what the hell? Stop whacking your Peter, Peter. At least outside with signs. I hope you got your life back up straight, just like those signs you have fond memories of. Just imagine that thrill. It's like ghost hunters, but with street signs. All the people on this list are people who have weird paraphilias. But the truth is that even though these people are weird and the same as their attractions, they are not the weirdest to even exist, nor are they the most disturbing. Now, unless you consider their actions disturbing, some of them that is, and this kind of relates to the video, the previous video about the dolls, but this has some deviant behavior that is kind of out there if you will. Anyways, thanks for watching. We can continue the discussion in the comments if you'd like. And you can message me too. You can like me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to see more of my content. Till next time, I'm at the bridge. Thanks for watching. Cares are plenty.